What is up YouTube, Chair Stuber coming back to you with another banger video and today we're going on another date. We're going on another date and today I'm taking a Virgo out on a date. I know, I know. If you guys haven't seen the other videos, boom right there, right there. Make sure you guys check them out. Yo, this is the third episode of this series. Me, I'm an Aquarius. I'm testing the compatibility between the zodiac signs in this series. Or if you watch the other ones, you know what's happening. You know what's happening. But yeah, I'm testing the compatibility between them. I'm gonna be taking her on a total of three dates today. We're going on three dates. After the three dates, I'm gonna guess our compatibility, and then I'm gonna look it up online to see what our actual compatibility is before we, we get into these dates. So let me look up a Virgo right now and see some of the characteristics of a Virgo. I'm pretty sure some of y'all know who I'm taking on a date. It's Tati. You know she's getting ready right now. But let, let, let's look up. Let's look up what a Virgo characteristics are. I'm not gonna look up the compatibility right now. We're saving that to the end. Their strengths are loyal, analytical, kind, hardworking, and practical. Okay, it says their weaknesses are shyness, worry, overly critical of self and others, all work and no play. We are gonna be in we about to be into something today. I'll tell you that. These three dates are gonna be interesting. I, I can't wait to see to see the results. Yo, let me tell y'all something crazy. My ex was a Virgo, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all that. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all that. It, oh no. We're getting into something. We're getting into something today. Oh no. Something today. But look, before we get into this video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you guys like this series, let me know down in the comments below. Also, drop your zodiac sign down below. I wanna know what y'all are, you know? But let's get into this video. All right, so look, got Tati in the car. Hey guys. We're about to go. Uh, should I tell her? I don't know if I should tell her yet. I'm, I'm gonna surprise her. I gotta surprise her. <laughs> so it turns out, guys, Tati's only been on two dates in her life. Two. This is gonna be her third. 17 years of life. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Albert's the third wheel. Yeah, Albert's like the third wheel. <laughs> I have to get the fruit cup. Here we go. Yeah. That's how we start the it's date. Like by getting snack. by getting a fruit cup, yo. Oh my. This party is active though. Hey yo, actually, what were your first two dates? My first date ever was to the movies. And then the second one was like ice skating. That's it. What do you like? I'm shot guys. Nobody's took her on a real date. Those are like the basic dates. Pretty much. Pretty much. Dude, look at my man. My man whipping it up over there. He's whipping it. So we got the fruit. The fruit is secure. We got yo. the fruit. Yo, it is secure. We're about to start munching. Hey, should we, should we sit down and wait for Albert? Yeah. All right, yo, we're going to sit and enjoy this fruit. But where should we sit, though? It's such a nice day outside, though. Okay, on this, like. Oh, oh, let's table. go over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this that's actually there. perfect. Yo, she's, <laughs> she got a good eye, guys. She got a good eye. Yo, nice little spot right here. Perfect. Ooh, and we got some leftover fruit. <laughs> Ew. Yo, that looks bomb. Shout out to that man over there, though. Oh my god. Straight up. Yo, what type of fruit do you not like? The white stuff. <laughs> mm. It's good. This is busting. I'm not even gonna lie. Busting, busting. For some reason, I don't like cucumbers. Really? Yeah, do you like cucumbers? Yeah, I'll eat the cucumbers. I don't know. They just, they're weird to me. <laughs> I don't know. I also don't like tomatoes. Really? You like tomatoes? Oh, bro, tomatoes, I don't know about that one. That one. You know what's weird though? I, I don't like tomatoes like in burgers, but I like them by themselves. I just don't like them, period, for some reason. <laughs> but there is some food like that that I like. Do you like, so you're one of those people that doesn't like mushrooms? Right? Actually, no, 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 I like, there. Oh, there is a couple of things I can eat with tomatoes in it. If I go to freaking um, Chipotle. Mm. Like the Chipotle, the Chipotle potatoes. <laughs> but, <laughs> Tomatoes. Potato, <laughs> yeah, same thing, you know? Potatoes, uh, or tomatoes. I just had chipotle. Yeah, so Was it good? Tomatoes in it, yep. Bro, they be busting. Ooh, this man really whipped it up for us, but though. But they automatically... Oh my god. No, it's bomb the watermelon. Facts. Like the After this, we go into the abandoned zoo. Yep. We had to stop and get, you know, get a little fruit in, in us before system. we before we get on that hike, you know? But we'll see y'all when we're done with this. Now we are off to the old zoo. Oh my, we got a little hike to go. I wore the wrong shoes for an abandoned zoo. What what shoes did you wear? My off-whites. 
<laughs> oh my god. Well, we're going on an expensive hike. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> but yo, I can't wait to see what this zoo's like. It's gonna be interesting. It's apparently abandoned. What do you mean apparently? Are there some animals? I mean, <laughs> no, there's no animals there, but it's like, apparently like, this this zoo shut down and then they opened the, the new zoo over there, kind of close to here. So we're gonna go see. I wanna know why, like what went wrong with this one? I don't know. I think I, it's haunted Loki? Yo. Maybe. Like, Maybe. the animals were being possessed at Yo, night. you never know, you never know. Maybe. We about to go find out. We about to go find out. One hour later. Yo, we're starting this long hike. I, bro, it feels like a long... Actually, no, I think I see it. I don't even think it's that long of a hike. We just been walking. Oh, it's literally right there. Yeah, it's literally just right there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's get to it real quick. Yo, yo, so we just made it to the hill. What is going on? Hold up. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> What is going on over there? <laughs> is this actually happening? Are we on like... Okay, let's go up. Oh my... Oh my god, it smells like piss. It smells like an animal has lived in here though. Dead animals? Ooh. Oh my god, can you go up there? Perfect. What, you can't go up here? Damn. Oh my god, it smells like piss. It really does. Is this actually happening? I don't know. Oh, it's coming off! It's the map. <coughs> Bro, Damn, why are they long? Oh my god, that looks so cool up there. Hey, we have to figure out how to get up there. Oh, dude, here we go. Now we're oh going god, up. We found it. We found, we found it. We're going up. I want to get in there. I wonder if there's a way in. Oh, look at this. Someone's been in there. Cause look at all the graffiti on there. What the? Uh... What if, what, yo, what that if somebody just like, popped out right there? Uh -uh. <laughs> that seems like a prison cell though. Yo. Like, did they have these animals in, like, prison? Yeah. Basic. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, this is actually crazy. This is different. I'll say that. Wait, what is down there? Hold up. Wait, I'm so confused. Hey, yo, let's go. I'll go with you. Okay, you go first. <laughs> yeah, make the white person go first. <laughs> Stop! Hey, y'all live the longest. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, my God. Fruit cups and scary. Oh, my God, ew, I hate, like... Dude, these steps are so steep. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm walking down, like, the steepest steps ever. Oh, it's the theater. Wait. <laughs> it's the theater from earlier, guys. <laughs> right there. Yo. <laughs> Yo, okay. This is creepy. Are you filming this? Yeah, Brett, it, this is crazy. Wait, these stairs say something. Ew, there's flies. Yo, this is crazy. Like, they used to feed the animals in this small cage. It's so sad. What type of animal do you think that like, used to go in here? Hmm. Like caged up like this has to be like the lions. No, there's no way. Cause look at this hole though. I don't feel like the zebras would be in here. There's no way. <laughs> you know this had to be like a little animal. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, come here. What is it? There's a little other way. Yo, we, we need to go exploring. There's an come animal. Come here. No, no. Oh my god. There's a little way over here. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What in the? <laughs> Shoot, we got to this area. Crap. This is crazy. I like how there's like, there's like a whole bunch of graffiti. Oh my god. I'm blocked up, they won't let me out. All right, now we're leaving the cave. Whew. Tati, what do you what do you know about your sign though? I need to know this. Okay, um, I like don't really like I know the way I am like personality wise. I'm very like always have to be right. Um, there's just certain things that I'll do that I'll be like oh very Virgo of me. Very Virgo. Yeah, and name, you want to know why I know name that? Name two very Virgo things. Very Virgo things, like me having to like educate you over something. That's what I mean like by being right. Oh. Um, what's another Virgo thing? I would say being very like organized is very Virgo. Organized? Yeah, like 
priorities straight. I know, I, I read a little bit about the Virgo. I'll tell you that. My best friends, I have twins that are best friends that are Virgos. They're Virgos too? Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> she's, she's that Virgo, guys. That, <laughs> that Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> Is my sign what made you pick to take me to the zoo? No. No, okay. <laughs> Yo, if it was like very detailed like that, imagine like. I was like, damn, yep. <laughs> I studied his signs in Yo, this video. I, I don't know if there would be like a sign like, take the Virgo to the zoo. No, yeah, there wouldn't. <laughs> That'd be super specific. Specific. I'm about to say Pacific. But. <laughs> All right, you know we we've been here for like a minute now. You know we're just looking around. It's, 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 it's been a over at this point. <laughs> pretty much at the zoo, you know they 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 making a, a bed for us right now. But nah, <laughs> nah, we about to go get some food. I'm, I'm gonna surprise her with some. Just wait, just wait. What do you our mean? date our date is still not over. It's still not over. Okay. How are you liking it though? Great date. Great date. Proud of you, Jr. One, one out of ten right now. An at eight. The start at the start. It's an eight. Eight. I mean eight. Just because I'm hungry. Just because she's hungry. <laughs> Yo, if there's food involved, it's always extra points. I'll tell y'all that. All right, I brought her to the spot. Look at this. Oh. Next day is taco. Yo, taco. Oh my God. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, yo, we about to get whipping up in this. And the line is long. Oh my God. I, this is the spot. I'm telling y'all. You see this line? Crazy. Yo, this is about to be busting, busting. Oh God. For real. So we just got the food. The bag is secured. I'm so happy. This Yo, is so good. We got horchata. Horchata delicioso. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the best. This is the best. Now it's time for the surprise. Are we eating at the surprise? Okay. It's gonna be lit. A few moments later. All right, we just got to the place. We're getting out right now. Let's eat this. It's a little. Uh, it's in a different spot. But yeah. Look. So we're going to a view. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all can't really see it. So I got this little light here so y'all can see us, you know? But we got the food and we're about to go to this gate area and then go to the view. Guys, I figured out the surprise. What's the surprise? It's the view. I know, it's Our a place. nice view. Look guys, we made it. We got the food. There's the city view. Oh! A lot of steps though, I'll tell you that. So yo, how was the car ride? One good. out of 10. How ten. good are the songs I play? You get a ten for playlist for sure. Oh, okay, I get a ten. Well, let's see, what, let's let's see the food I got though. Say so we got the wrong order. Oh, right. this looks crazy. Is this the prettiest view? Oh, ho, 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 look at that! Oh my God, this really is the prettiest view. Like if y'all were here and y'all could see this, prettiest view by far. But yo, talk to you. What's your biggest pet peeve in a guy? You gotta know this. Biggest pet peeve in a guy. Hmm. Yeah. Like mm. when he just doesn't know like the value of like priorities and like having his life together at the same time as like being concerned about the girl. So like caring yeah, about both. Scared me. Right. So like oh learning God. how to manage how to care about things at the, like both things. You know what I'm saying? Like just don't ghost. <laughs> That's my pet peeve. Do not ghost. That's the pet peeve. Yep. <laughs> Bro, this man. At, at what place? I, I left it on the table. <laughs> Are you serious? So that sucks, Albert. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Albert, you want one of my tacos? Hey, bro, you can have one of mine too. What's something that a guy has to have? Cause yeah, actually, here's a, here's oh, a better question. What's something answer. you dislike and what's something you like? Dislike is like what I said, ghosting. Like basically bad communication skills. It's like, are you human or are you not? Mm -hmm. In a nice way, respectfully. Um, I do like when he has a good playlist. <laughs> when he has a good playlist? Mm -hmm. Hey bro, that's a, that's a good one. That's up there. Most people don't have a music taste, guys. Exactly. You need to make sure you cultured, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get in the culture, the music. If you don't, I can't, I can't do it. What's your biggest goal? My biggest goal in life is just to be happy. Because no matter what I do, I can have all the like dreams and like materialistic things to have. But if I'm not happy, like it doesn't matter that you have all of those things. She's speaking facts. Facts or skis. I have a facts question for you. Ooh. What What's been your favorite sign? My favorite sign so far? I mean, I've only done three. Okay. Wait, what sign are you? I'm an Aquarius. An Aquarius. You're the best sign out there. Crazy. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. That's a good thing? It's a great thing? It's a good thing. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing. It's a good yeah, thing. A good. We'll not a great good. thing. It's, it's an alright thing. It's, it's alright. Alright, the real question is have you had a pass with Aquarius? No, I haven't had a pass with an Aquarius. For real? Not like love interest wise. How many people have you dated? I have one boyfriend in, in my whole 17 whole years life. of life. Yeah. And what's his son? I want to say Libra. 
That is crazy. So you've only had one boyfriend in your life. What? Okay, tell me, t tell me why is that? I feel like because I'm a very like independent person, and it's not a bad thing. It's not that like I haven't like you know not that I'm like weird against certain people, but like literally one of my last captions was type of girl that got you because I want you, not because I need you. And it's a Kehlani lyric, mm -hmm. but like that's how I've just always been. Like I don't really need somebody. Yes, I can want somebody, but like nah, but that's how a relationship should be. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Like exactly. If you feel like you need the person, y'all mm -hmm. y'all just break up instantly. I'm gonna tell y'all that. That that's that's where y'all already messed up. Exactly. A relationship should be they there to help you, but not there to like be your happy. You know what I'm saying? They're there, exactly. they there to grow on you, help you grow as a person. And I kind of learned from Most that, good. from having like things or liking people. And I was so caught up in being young and like, oh, well, this didn't make me happy. This broke my heart. Now I'm sad and I'm depressed. But like, not in like a bad way, but like you, we all teenagers go through that. And it's like, I had to realize like I had to be happy on my own and then find a person that also made me happy. But did, not that I needed them to be my happiness, they're but just they there. just add on to me being happy. And it's yeah. like... A win-win. They're helping you out in a way. They're helping exactly. you grow in a way. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it helps when you find a person that is the same way as you, like, is already happy. Like, they're not sad. They're not looking for you to be their happiness. Right, facts. That's, as long as both fact. of you are good, like, it'll work. That is hard to find, though. It is hard Most people do not find their happiness. I'm going to let you know that. That's why, guys, work on yourself. Don't work on other people. I'm going to tell you that. Because you got you for the rest of your life. That's it. Not that not that other person. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Bro, she gets it. She gets it. Not anyone. Even friends. Because they come and go. Family can come and go as sad as it is. But you got you. Hey, bro. You got you. Everything is temporary. Just know that. But not me. So stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> but yeah so look that's gonna be the end of our date today i'm gonna have to Mr. i'm gonna have to you know we, we had a good day nice day guys he paid for my food Bro, drove me around look, had a good playlist we we had we had a good date today <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all that we had an amazing date today i'm gonna go back to the crib and tell y'all what i think our compatibility was she won't get to know until she sees the video obviously but it was a fun date thank you Tati, for coming along and yeah let's go back to the crib all right, so I'm back at the crib, and now I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought about the date, what I think the rating is, and then we're gonna look online to see what the actual rating is. So, our date, you know, we did a lot of fun stuff. We went to the abandoned zoo, uh, we went and got tacos, and then we talked at the at the view, you know, it was, a, it was a nice, good three dates, you know what I'm saying? Some different, but I think, honestly, um, she's a really cool person, but I feel like I just didn't feel like a, like a, like a click like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like we wouldn't be good as a couple, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like we could be cool as friends, you know? But if I would have to give y'all my, my honest opinion and honest, you know, rating, I would have to say it's like a 50. I would have to say a 50. That's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to say 50. We're gonna go online. We're gonna see how close to the rating I was, if it was higher, if it was lower. I really don't know, you know? Only thing I do know is that, you know, I used to date uh, a Virgo, so. But it was an interesting relationship, I will tell you that. And honestly, I did see a lot of the traits in her when we were talking um, since the beginning of the video. I can tell she really is a hardworking person, like it said in the Virgo traits. And a lot of other of the ones it's, it mentioned when I was reading them off, it's actually pretty insane. You could kind of see them in, in the people. But we're going to go use this website called astrologyzodiacsign.com. Okay, uh, we're going to see the compatibility between an Aquarius and a Virgo. Let's see how compatible. Oh my God. It says the compatibility between a Virgo and an Aquarius is 30%, guys. The overall summary is 30%. That is actually insane. Like 20 points off, what the? All right, all right, all right. Let's see something here. Let's look at another website. All right, so we're at this website called Horoscope, right? We're about to look up, you know, Aquarius and then uh, Virgo. Let's see this. Okay, on this website, it says 6 out of 10, so we're just going to assume it's like 60, you know what I'm saying? 6 out of 10 is, you know, from 1 to 100 would be like 60. So mine was 50 out of the two horoscope readings, you know, I guess I could say I was close to to, to what I said. You know, that's actually kind of crazy to, to think about, you know, this is 60, the other one was 30. That's pretty insane, that, that is pretty insane. But yo, if you guys want to see more of these, let me know what sign to do next. Also, give me some date ideas, guys. I need more date ideas. Where should I take them? What should we do? Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this series as much as I am. It's actually a really fun series to do. But that is the end of the video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, comment down what sign I should do next, and I'm out. Where are you coming? Huh? Where are you coming? Filming? Yeah. A YouTube video. A YouTube video? Yeah.